And now the voice of Oklahoma presents Johnny Lee Wills and all the boys. The death of Bob Wills in May 1975 ignited a Western swing revival throughout America. One of the people to benefit from this musical phenomenon was Bob's brother, Johnny Lee Wills, who had been with Bob from the very beginning as a Texas playboy in September 1933. Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys played on KVO daily from February 1933 through 1942. When Bob left the Tulsa, Oklahoma area for California in 1942, he turned the band over to his brother, Johnny Lee, who continued the daily broadcast until 1958. What you're about to hear is a reunion of Johnny Lee Wills' band on KVOO on April 24, 1979. Many of Johnny Lee's former band members, as well as some Bob Wills alumni, were on the broadcast, including vocalist and fiddler Curly Lewis, pianist Clarence Cagle, saxophonist Glenn Blood Breeze, steel guitarist Gene Crownover, Eldon Shamblin on electric guitar, Wayne Johnson on clarinet, and several others, including vocalist Candy No and her husband Roy Ferguson. I hope you enjoy it. Do me a favor and click on the red subscribe button below. YouTube will never bother you with any emails. They just want to know if you're watching my videos or not. But if you ring the bell, you will receive a notification when we upload a new video. It's your choice. And with that out of the way, here we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Live from our studios in Tulsa, Oklahoma, KVOO proudly presents Johnny Lee Wells and all the boys. <laughs> I had a nickel for every time I've heard that theme. Well, that sounds mighty good to hear you say that. I'll tell you, it doesn't seem like that uh, it's been almost years since we did this. Has it been that long? I think it has, in my book. Well, these years get by fast. Well, it? they're showing up on you worse than they are on me, though, I think. I hadn't said that. <laughs> I thought you'd come back with that. Get more smiles on that, and we will all night. Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> according to uh, the music lovers out there, if you'll get started on this Lone Star rag, I think we'll have some real grins. Round to go. Go. <laughs> Thank you. 
wasn't Phil Spitali in the all-girl orchestra there, was it, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> hey, I saw the rosin fly there and a couple of horse hairs break, but that's the way to get through that Lone Star rag. Curtis County, up and out and out and ready to go. He, he looks in good health. I believe he is. Yes. Why, <laughs> why is that? Does anyone know? Huh? Clean living? What is it? He feels better than he did last night. <laughs> Anything would have been an improvement over that. <laughs> hey, about uh, ten days from now, we got one heck of a something starting again, aren't we? Man, we really have, huh? We're really looking forward to it, kind of getting all tensed up, but uh, everything's looking mighty good. Of course, you're talking about 40 Daniel John Lee Will tell us the stampede. That's what I was going to lead I you into. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's the 40th, because when these things first started, I was just a yunker. I was, too. I know. <laughs> Facts, Dennis, Mr. Mel had to lead me in there already. Not that I wasn't smart, but I was just small. Yeah, he said you were, <laughs> said you were stump broke, and you got in the arena. Okay, <laughs> there was <laughs> Ah, that's great. We'll be talking about the about the uh, stampede a little later on here and the proceeds going to the Heart Association and everything. Right. But right now, I think we might as well just have some music. And I, I think we ought to get Curly up here and do a little of that time changes right. everything. <laughs> When did you first start playing that? Can you remember? 
Well, quite a few years back, Jack. No kid, Jay, 20, I mean. Fifteen. <laughs> you, you, you can call me just about anything. I'll get His you, name I'll was get probably Jack. I you think he was play. there. <laughs> hey, before we get any deeper in this, why don't you let everybody out there in the big country audience tonight uh, know who is playing with us, will you? I would like to. Do you remember the names? I believe I do. I remember the faces. If you can do the names, we're in business. <laughs> well, he's putting a hard spot on me, but I'll try. <laughs> well, we'll start over here to my right. All right. If I'd still get to our man, Mr. Rocky Capel. Yeah. <laughs> and then sitting back there with the piano, Mr. Clarence Boyd. Yes, sir. Wonderful guy. And back, way back on the drums, the guy that really shoved us along here, Mr. Claude Clemens. We always put Claude way back in the corner. Way there in the back. Yeah. Sure got big ears. And of course, <laughs> old faithful here, better, you know, kick Glenn Reese, better known as plain old blub. We're glad to have him up here with us tonight. We can always depend on him. And then the kid of the gang back here sitting down with the little bass, uh, Dwayne Boyd. Okay. He's just got one ear tonight. And, yeah. and the guy that kind of gets all this bunch together, Mr. Roy First. You know Roy and Candy's uh, I've heard of that. music store? Yes. yes, I have. He told me to say that. <laughs> then the guy we're mighty proud to have with us tonight up here, kind of imposing on him. He's wondering why I'm pulling my arm up and down instead of beating it, because he's used to be playing banjo. Right. I promoted myself. Of course, he didn't know that. <laughs> Mr. Eldon Shamlin, a wonderful guitar man. Indeed. And then we got the boy up here, John T. He's going to be along here in a little bit. And then, of course, our best-looking one, best talent, and best singer, Miss Candy No. You know, we're yeah, bringing her up later on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And also the guy that I used a lot and saving him the last cause we use him all the time. A great fiddle man and a good singer, Mr. Curly Lewis. Okay, you got it. There's there's the whole gang now, sir. And then Mr. O. W. Mills up here with us too. Yeah, he's sitting here on his birthmark, he told me, and we're gonna we're gonna talk here in a bit about <laughs> All of the stamps. And another guy that's with me for many years, Mr. Chuck Adams. He's up here. Hey. <laughs> Standing up straight tonight, fellas. Y'all notice that? <laughs> <laughs> not bass fiddle, not holding him up either. <laughs> well, that's a good wall he's leaning against. But <laughs> it's so good to see all these guys up here, and we're having a great Time and all the friends out there listening, I hope they'll enjoy the program. Okay, and your your name, sir, was uh, John Lee Will. Yes, I remembered that. Thank you. I couldn't <laughs> think of that now. <laughs> hey, this next song, Johnny, that you guys got all ready to go here. I know a fella who who sang this so many times and, and got so many royalties off of it, he finally went into bean business. Right. <laughs> We're gonna let old Curly step up here and do any time. <laughs>
time at all. That sounds real good. Listen, I, I heard some promos uh, last week or so, Johnny, and, and they said something about you and the boys playing at the Stampede, and we had some calls. They, they wanted to know if you guys are going to be on a bandstand or if you're going to do this from horseback. Well, I say we're going to try it from a truck. <laughs> That'll feel natural, Mr. Miller. Back on the, truck on the back again. of the truck? Okay. <laughs> Don't put me on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to ask Glenn while I go, you getting Miley's tonight? <laughs> oh, okay, well, that, that, that'll help out a little bit then. Yeah, he's right in there. <laughs> as, Johnny, as, as Jerry Clower says from time to time, he pooched his mouth out, you know, kind of pouted. And someone told me once that when, when Roy does this next thing here, it looks like he kind of pooches. I kind of thought he kind of drug it out and just... Yeah. <laughs> well, I ready. you got me. Whatever you want to say, I'll go along with well, it. Well, I have to I have to keep it clean. we got a family right, show going what here. What do, we, what do you think we put Roy to work right now, that long, tall Texan? Let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs>
Dave Fork over there and clean out the studio here while we get uh, ready for this. <laughs> Ah, I like that. I don't know how many times I've heard it. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Is that, is that, is that all right? Can, can I say that? Okay. Hey, I tell you what, we're just about creeping up here on little uh, weather time and news time. What do you say we let Rocky take us out of here with that roadside rag, and then we'll be back on the other side with a lot more hoopla. Want to? Ready to go. Is that all right? <laughs> John Lee Wills live right here from the KVO studios at 37th Peoria. We're going to take a short break here and bring you some weather and news. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, once again to another live session with Johnny Lee Wills and the boys. <laughs> Thank you. 
did he release me and let me love again? I tell you, I... Huh? Please. Oh, please, really. Oh. <laughs> Always have to beg, huh? I know. I, <laughs> I was watching old uh, Shel uh, Eldon over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't tell whether he picks more or chews more. Can you? Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, before she gets away from there, why don't we uh, kind of pick up the tempo a little bi bit here? My girl, and we're about to grab to have Steve Ripley up here with us tonight. Hey! You know, about three weeks ago, we like to run that boy crazy, but he stayed in there with us, and I What's heard he done it. Huh? What's that record? Oh, is it going to be a record? Oh. <laughs> no, but it'd be a good average here. It'd be a good average. <laughs> I guess for a couple months, something, you're going to release it, something like this? I hope that's what we've been telling people. Tell them how good it is. I don't know, really. I haven't heard it. <laughs> <laughs> we hope it's real good. Yeah, Absolutely. they're going to put you on the spot, though, are they? Absolutely, they are. That, but they, we did have a fine bunch of guys down there, and they've done a wonderful job. I heard all about it. I think it, uh, everybody's waiting for it to get out so we can all take a listen to it. Well, there seems to be a lot of interest in it, and, of course, that makes anybody feel good. Anything makes you feel good. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's get Candy back here and do Ready a little bump bounce boogie. You want to? Sitting on a stool in a bar downtown, just trying to be cool. Well, seems everything has changed around. I'm bumping the movie, bounce around, and you're full of fast food. Full of fast food. Full of fast food. Full of fast food. Come on, pass for me and dance like a crazy I wish I was 50 again, you know it, huh? <laughs> I can't shake enough things when that kind of stuff goes on. I got sitting right across me here, a distinguished looking gentleman who's been connected with this outfit for a long time, kind of sitting back now and resting on his laurels, or whatever some people call them. <laughs> and I'd like for all of you out there to hear from Mr. O.W. Mayo, who's, uh, well, his name is synonymous with all kinds of western swing music around here. O.W., welcome back. Thank you, Jay. It's good to be here. In fact... I'm good to be anywhere these days. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of feel lucky to be around. Yes, sir. Oh, that's great. They still sound wonderful. Well, get along okay, I guess. Uh, as well as I deserve, I presume. 
Now, if, if it, <laughs> clean living will out every time. Don't forget. Does it seem like it was 40 years ago when this stampede was all set up? Not at all, Jay. By golly, it seemed like yesterday. And it, uh, those years have gone by pretty fast. I they say. have. They have. And have been well received every year by the whole northeastern bit of Oklahoma. Well, they well could be because uh, I don't think there's a rodeo anywhere that... Um, has had any better rodeo stock and uh, had any better cowboys to perform. And the facilities out there has been ideal for, that's a showcase out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been well received every year ever for the last, uh, since 39, the beginning. Seems to get bigger every year. Seems to get bigger and better every year. Yeah, this year, that like I say, Johnny and the boys are going to play on horseback or the back of a truck. We can't decide, <laughs> <laughs> decide which yet. Well, they're going to have to make a quick exit, and I imagine they'll be on a bed of a truck out there. <laughs> get so out of here quick. Get out quick. <laughs> this might be ready to turn the bulls out by the time they get through. Say a marvelous thing this year, too. The uh, Heart Association is going to benefit from this because a big part of the profits are going to go to that great outfit. Well, that's a swell gesture on John Lee's part. You know, oh, I don't mean to make anything of this, but John's had a little experience with that, and uh, yes, I think that uh, it's a swell gesture on his part to do that, and I am sure that the public appreciates it, and uh, I just hope that they'll come out and buy a lot of tickets and this heart fund will be able to reap a pretty good reward from it. I think it will do that. And it all starts May 2nd through the 7th at the Fairgrounds Pavilion, the 40th annual Johnny Lee Wills. Tell Five the nights and a Sunday matinee. You, you betcha. <laughs> Come on out and grab yourself a sack of popcorn and watch those uh, cowboys try to stay on. Well, he's got a good string of stock. Harry Vold of Colorado yes. has got one of the toughest strings of rodeo stock anywhere. I think uh, he had more bucking horses at the national finals last year than any other ro uh, stock contract in the country. And that's what makes a rodeo, really, is the bucking stock. Of course, you know, they have to change the calves and steers uh, maybe two or three times a year, but them bucking bulls and bucking horses, they've got to go on and on. On and on. And seem like some of them, the older they get, the better they buck. Meaner they get. <laughs> the meaner they get. I, I know some people just like that. The older they get, the meaner they get. Well, I haven't had that experience yet. <laughs> well, when you and I get older, we'll understand that better. <laughs> oh, W, it's sure nice talking to you again. I'm going to look forward to next year, too. Well, by the way, I just hope I'm around, and if so, uh, I'll certainly be down with the boys. Well, it, I'd it, get the big kick out of sitting here and renewing my acquaintances with some of the boys. I don't see them too often, and... And, of course, I still like to pat my foot to the music of John Lee and the boys. Well, I tell you, I get the feeling sometimes that if you can't pat a foot, snap a finger, or click a tongue or something, that uh, you should be patted in the face with a shovel. That's a <laughs> trademark of the wheels music, boys. It, it is. makes you pat your foot. It uh, just, it just gets the jeans a jumper there. Yes, the white and red corpse suckles are going. Well, what do you say we put them fiddles to work over there? I, I think I'm about ready here for a little about, uh, oh, what do you call it? Don't love nobody? Thank you. 
Hey, were the fiddles from everybody there. Well, it's about time I think we hear now from the heir to the Will's millions. Most people call him Junior. <laughs> Boy, that makes me glad I'm Junior. <laughs> Most people call him Junior. I always call him Johnny, too. So uh, I'd like for you all to uh, be introduced right now to a handsome young fella who uh, we work with. Oh, about uh, 365 days a week around here. Well, seems like it. Not a year, a week. I, I, did, I didn't blow that. I meant to say it. <laughs> How you been doing, fella? Just great. Glad to see you up here tonight. You uh, going to do something here for us called the Keeps Right on a Hurting? Yes, sir. I'm ready to go. All right. <laughs> It'll all be better there. Well, that's nice, Johnny, too. I like that. You know, we're not supposed to have any direct messages and, and uh, lines to anyone out there, but I think we can kind of dedicate this to all the MLs, don't you? 
You go ahead, yeah. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I just mothers in law. I just trying to be wily there. I bought MLs. I don't know what MLs are. <laughs> I don't even know what an LM is. <laughs> I sure yeah, did you notice how deathly quiet it got in here? <laughs> well, we'll edit that out when we send it in for a pressing. No, I was, I was talking about the HMLs. You know, hello, Mary Lou. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> for about six minutes. Time for a little weather and news. We'll be right back. And here we are back once again from the studios of KVOO in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And every time I point to Curly, he does me a breakdown.
and take it on home. You know, it seems kind of like we're at the Opry there. Every time I point to him, he just starts flying around he in the road. He does. <laughs> Curly, I noticed the elder over here playing the guitar on him breakdown. He's still like he was when Papa was playing. He's hunting cord. Papa said he yeah. never could get <laughs> up his mind. <laughs> They're on there, but you just find them, huh? He'd tell, he'd tell Luther Jay to sit down and get the guitar. He said, get long hair, you can hold it. The elder can't make up his mind. <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing about it, if he gets on the wrong one, he don't stay there very long. I thought he was hunting them all the time. <laughs> ah. While we carry on here, I want to do that thing with my little wife. We've got her out in the country now, and I think she's still awake listening, Miss Irene Wills. Little lady does all the hard work, and I have to sit around and watch her. <laughs> she's pretty hard. She's glass of water every now and then. <laughs> and of course, my new daughter-in-law, I got to... Say hello to her. Uh, we shouldn't have picked that song while ago Johnny sang. I know, that was kind of Hello, funny. Mary Lou. I told him he should say Pam, but he went ahead and <laughs> said Mary Lou. I, I noticed that. Uh, Johnny, too, told me uh, one time that you really do love Irene. Even when she's sick, you hold her up to the stove, fix your dinner for you. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I haven't been to the doctor for her. I try to for her, it gets her well every time. <laughs> Doesn't take long, does it? Huh? Oh, no, they'll snap right out of it. <laughs> what do you say we do a tune here, and every time I think of it, I think of back about old 10th and Elgin. Remember down there in the big old showroom? With do. Huh? do you remember that? Right. Well, you're not as old as I am then. Well, uh, no. Oh, oh, no, well, nobody is. What do you say we kind of... <laughs> what do you say we kind of strap a little four or five times on all of them out there? Are you ready? <laughs>
got in on that? Even... <laughs> okay, what do you say we get old Glenn up there now? He's been lifting off yeah, over there in the background, Johnny. A lot of free parking. Police patrol and so... Oh, I said... I think that's a big point any place. I said, old Glenn's over there lifting off. You said there's a lot of free parking. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've had for all the people that will come in. And we right. We hope our friends won't let us down this year. For this year, we're kind of... Proud of the shows we put on, and it's always been a public show because uh, it's to the friends out there that's that's really kept this show going, and all we've done is tried to have a good show there for them. Just get the cattle there and let them come on in and watch it. Absolutely, okay, you they they the one made the show good. Okay, you think old Glenn Reed is still I'm wet be out there? there directing traffic. You're going to direct traffic. <laughs> okay, certainly old Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say we kind of take a listen here? The kind of love I can't forget. One time right to go.
We can bill no. him as the singing parking attendant out at the rodeo, huh? He'll expect that Saturday night down at the caravan and tell <laughs> sure we didn't start you doing that. <laughs> Saturday night. I never didn't know he sang like that till Cheryl took him down there and must have been hard up for singers. Start, start feeding me birdseed. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> you do a good job, really. Yeah, a real good job. That's why he's paid him sitting down. Uh, who throwed that finish to you there? Good old Steve. <laughs> well, boy, how'd you finish the song without reaching down there after him? I'm gonna get it. Now, I know you will. That's right. one short. One short. I'm a nickel. Oh, he's waiting for that other penny. You, you wanna, you wanna uh, do a little song for us? right now? You feel I like would love to. Okay. What would you like to do? Well, it must be love. Okay. Tell me, honey, tell me, please, is this love a heart disease? Got me shaking in my knees. Baby, it must be love. Funny feeling running up and down the spine Goes to my head just like wine Makes me think the world's all mine Baby, and it must be love I hear the church bells ringing I see visions clear I hear the birdies singing But I know darn well there's no birdies here I don't like your shirt and tie They don't seem to harmonize They don't bat your big brown eyes and it must be love. Brother Elder, I was listening to the lyrics of that kind of close guy asked me the other day. It says, if sex is such a driving force, how come so much of it is found parked? <laughs> what do you say we go to the distaff side here before yeah. we have too much more silence? <laughs> and, and I thought this would be a good time to bring Candy back. Uh, yeah. and candy back. Candy back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know she'd been gone. Candy back. Candy back. 
she's going to step right up here and uh, take us down south here for a wee bit with some cute lyrics on a thing you'll recognize as the San Antonio Stroll. I'll tell you what we're going to do. It's that time once again to uh, take a little time out here for some weather and some news. And my gosh, we're back into the final lap of tonight's get-together. It goes so quickly. <laughs> Round in the clubhouse turn and heading for the barn. Here we go once again with Johnny Lee Wills and the boys. <laughs>
look at silver bells. Glenn's always turns out to be a dingaling. Do you notice him over there playing those? <laughs> First time you ever missed a cue, and I don't know <laughs> where. <laughs> Boy, who was you looking at out there? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I flubbed. I can't believe we've been in here almost an hour and 40 minutes and just been going too fast. I Mr. believe so. We're you want to play for another hour? Yeah, right. to do? go, yeah. Well, we just, can. Just getting warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, I, I like this song here. It, it, it's good for kids and family. It's, it's, a, it's a cute song, and I think we ought to do this for all about there before they have to get themselves off the bed. Yeah, who's going to do this? Who's, who's going to do Roller Poly? Oh, Dwayne Boy. Oh, all yeah, right. Come on, Dwayne. Good. fit in there pretty good, you know it? Hey, I tell you what, I like this next song. It, it's known by uh, several titles, Shenandoah, Across the Wide Missouri and everything, and I uh, I think our friend uh, Curly ought to Do play one on job. it right now. Oh, we 
go fishing. I believe I'm, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, we uh, we talked to, to Johnny too a minute ago, and and we heard about the rodeo. Now we're going to bring him back up here, and uh, let him do a song that uh, well, it's been around this Wills family for a long, long time, and you'll recognize it as Faded Love. <laughs>
that's all right. That's understandable. That's pretty good two hours. Uh, at this, at this stage of the now. game, that's understandable. I was just thinking, I'm having so doggone much fun. Why don't we shut down this joint and go out and get in trouble? Why don't we? Huh? <laughs> we Everybody want to go, huh? We're a lot of guys oh, here. Right to go, yeah. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, we ain't about to get out of here until we fulfill a request here that I get many of throughout the week and the whole year. And well, I'm now, change, we're, now we're wondering. I'm, I'm going to change kind of things around here a little bit because uh, we had a little... Uh, game schedule we're going to play by but we ain't going to do it now we're going out to the barn take the three-legged stool with us put the bucket down and come up with a little milk cow blues See, Candy, I told you, you'll pardon the expression, I could pull it off, didn't I? I knew we could work him into it. He said he said we wouldn't have time for that, and I said, well, if I announce it, you can't just stand up there with milk on your whiskers, can you? You know, Jake, don't come got all these boys up here tonight, and I think it's really wonderful that they all come up here, and they've been working their heart out. But this one old boy, he's been kind of behind the KBO microphone for a good many years, Mr. Eldon Shamlin. Eldon, why don't you get up here and say a word or two. Uh, I, he, there ain't a whole, ain't a whole lot I can say. Well, hey, well, you've just about said everything. I don't talk say. much. Jay's done all the talk. Well, I know, but you've done enough. <laughs> but that, it, well, thank you, I did say that. <laughs> but it's kind of good really, to be behind really these microphones been, uh, again. It's been, been my pleasure, Johnny, you know. Well, uh, we've enjoyed having Thinking you. back over the years, you know, it's uh, still a lot of fun playing. It really is, you've been, absolutely. You've enjoyed it very much. So glad you're up here glad with us. Invited. Fine. Old nimble fingers, they yeah. call him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fastest finger in the West. Do you think that for about three and a half minutes we could 
kind of bid everybody goodbye. We we hate to wrap this up, but we're going to have to. If everyone's uh, enjoyed it, they can send money. No, that <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We got four cents on the floor there in the kitty. No, I just want to thank everybody for coming up tonight. I hope our big country listeners have enjoyed it, and they can show their appreciation by attending the 40th annual. Johnny Lee will stampede and helping out the Heart Fund at the same time. That's mighty nice, Jay, and thanks to KVOO and you for being here, and I guys carrying on with us. We've enjoyed having you. Well, I didn't know we was carrying on, but I <laughs> sure <laughs> had a heck of a lot of fun, I'll yes, tell sir. you what. And uh, don't forget, the killer cycles are always open. Good. So we'll just let you guys say bye-bye to everybody here, and why don't you just kind of leave them in the mood? We're still in the mood, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoy my Bob Wills videos, click the like button and click the share button to send this video to your friends. They might like it. If you want to hear more Bob Wills music, buy me a coffee with a tip. Click the see more link in my video description and use the tip jar app. I also have free music downloads on my website. Go to exploringthepast.net.